Hi friends, welcome back to Hot Topics in the News. I'm your host, John, and I'm joined by David in the studio today. How are you feeling? Hi, John. I'm good. I'm good. How are you guys? We are talking about NATO today. Yes. Sweden and Finland are two countries near Russia in the North Atlantic that have applied formally to join NATO. Yes. Um, what, what else can you tell us about NATO, first of all? Well, we know NATO stands for North Atlantic Treaty Organization. Right. And it means, you know, if, if a country not in NATO attacks a country that is that belonged to NATO, yeah. um, then it, it's basically attacking all of the countries. That's right. It's a military alliance. I, I believe it was 1949, yes. right after World War II, there was a lot of conflict mm -hmm. between the Soviet Union at the time and Europe. Um, especially in, in Germany. You've got family in Germany, right? Yeah, a few. And so these other countries are thinking, do we join NATO? They've applied for it. And obviously, probably because of the war in Ukraine, right? What, what, do you, what, do you, what can you tell us about the Ukraine war? Well, it, it's not looking good. I mean, I remember when the f war first started and you know, with media going on these days, you know, we are able to see it live in action, right. like missiles flying around. Right. And it's yeah. just very sad. Yeah, I think that's one thing about this war that has been a lot scarier. We've seen a lot of civil wars and small conflicts, right, in, in Africa. There has been a lot of war just south of Ukraine in Turkey and yeah, Syria, right? That's right. So we've, we've seen a lot of war in our lifetimes, but this is between nuclear a, a nuclear country and its mm -hmm. neighbor. Yeah. And like you say, there's been a lot of missiles and new technology that's being used, right? Yes. Um, what, what, what for you has stood out about this uh, war specifically? Uh, well, I guess the importance of having NATO, you know, the, these two, these countries along with Ukraine, like they want to join now because there's kind of like a safe haven from you know the bigger countries like US and Canada yeah like protecting them yeah i think this is for for we call them superpowers you know countries that are huge they have you know many many people they have nuclear weapons um, a lot of times superpowers have to make their neighbors feel comfortable and saying saying we're your friend is one thing saying we're the good guy is one thing but you always know where someone is by their actions sure. right so we pray for wisdom for not uh, not only um, these countries in nato also for russia and for whatever country you happen to live in we just pray god gives you wisdom and that there's peace yeah. well thanks for joining me today thank you and thanks for joining us we'll see you next time on hot topics